Hey guys, on today's tip I would like to talk about Amazon add-on items. Amazon add-on items are items that are marked with an add-on item mark on top of the price in the buy box. Amazon add-on items can only be attached to another item that is being uh, bought on Amazon. Meaning, if you're an Amazon customer and you're buying an item, you, can, you cannot simply buy an add-on item and send it to yourself. You can only ship it together with an order that is above $25 or if you're uh, selling in Europe, in UK, uh, above 20 pounds. So as a drop shipping seller, Amazon add-on items might not fit your needs. It might, sorry, it might be that um, you would have, if you sell, sell an add-on item, you would have to have another order, which is above $25 or above 20 pound, and only then you can attach that item to that order. And when you process it, you can send it to a different uh, address. So that way you can sell add-on items. Um, since it's quite complicated, people choose one of three strategies. Either they don't sell add-on items at all, which is uh, something that I personally uh, choose to do. Um, in the other hand, if so many people choose not to sell it, there is much less competition on add-on items. So either then they don't sell it at all. If they do want to sell it and they do have uh, enough volume of sales per day, then they probably have another order during the day that is above $25. This is mostly big sellers. And then they attach the add-on items to that order. And when they uh, when they put in the... Um, the shipping details they uh, sorry one second when they put in the shipping details they uh, put the the shipping details to the add-on item different from the than the shipping uh, details they put to the regular item and they send it to two different addresses and that way they can drop ship it so uh, and the third method is people that choose um, to sell add-on items and once they sold it if they don't have any item above 25 dollars or 20 pounds uh, that they can attach the add-on item to, they simply ask their friends around. They gather around in groups. I even saw WhatsApp groups for add-on support. Um, and and then they ask, who has an, an item above $25 that I can attach add-on to and please send it to me? And they transfer the money in either way. Um, and that's what they do. So how do we take care of add-on items in the SM tool? In the SM tool, you can... Um, you can set a few few defenses or a few protection modes under account settings inside the monitor tab. So in here, you can, um, you can protect your account uh, using the Amazon Prime protection. That means that if, you're, if you choose to only sell Amazon Prime items and it's your choice, then you can uh, choose that if the item is, goes out of Prime, um, it will be set as out of stock. You will see an orange lock on its price, on, sorry, on its quantity. The quantity will be lowered to zero or the, the price would be multiplied, depends on what uh, type of, uh, of protection did you choose. And, um, and that would be the protection. So if you want to only sell prime items, you should use that protection over here. It's the green, you mark it with green light. You can also choose that when items go out of prime, if you're selling items that are not prime items, it will not do anything. It will not set them out of stock. So let's assume in my account, I work mostly with prime items. So let's assume on, on this case that we're working with prime protection. If you are working with prime protection, what will happen is that any item that isn't prime would go out of stock immediately. Now, add-on items are not prime. You don't see any prime marking around here. When we get information from Amazon, it says prime. No, it's not prime. So it will go out of stock. What we do is we enable you to treat add-on items as in stock. If you will enable add-on items and treat them as in stock and click update, uh, you will enable the items. So items that has add an item will count as if they are prime items and will not go out of stock. That's the idea of this button, treat add on items as in stock. Uh, pay attention to the fact that uh, only add on items that are sold by Amazon will be detected. 
meaning we it it has some limitations when items uh, are add on items where can i see what is it sold from okay and they're sold by amazon.com then um then we can track that they are add on items if the items are sold by another seller but fulfilled by amazon.com then unfortunately we have no idea it's simply the data that we get from amazon the data doesn't tell us tell us if it's an add-on item or not it only tells us if it's prime and as i told you add-on item is not prime therefore um if you use that protection and if you use the prime protection some of the add-on items will forever no matter what we'll do we just don't have a way to know that they're add-on items. So uh, prime protection means that some of your items, mostly the items that, or only the items that are not sold by amazon.com will anyway appear as out of stock. Now this gets, now we're gonna move to the next step and the next option of how you can work with add-on items. And uh, it's a little bit complicated. So if you're not using that feature that I'm going to talk about, you should stop the video here because it's a little bit more complicated. So if you are selling using the suppliers table over here, the suppliers table on Amazon is, do I have it here? Yeah, is the other sellers on Amazon. If you, if you choose to get, we have this process that uh, we can, if you enable this option, we go to, uh, we don't check only the, the page, the seller page, it's called the buy box. Uh, price we check all the sellers and we give you the lowest price that's really cool isn't it but it has some flaws for example one of the flaws that it has is that if you enable the suppliers table you should pay attention because this feature will treat all the fulfilled by amazon's items as in stock by default that includes add-on items meaning basically that if you want to work with the suppliers table and get the lower price but you don't want to sell add-on items that is simply impossible now let me show you how we treat it i marked the get suppliers from uh, su uh, get prices from supplier table meaning i want to get items from the supplier table but i also i but i didn't mark treat add-on items as in stock supposedly now it's supposed to get the the lowest price the best price from the supplier table but it shouldn't um sorry but but the treat uh add-on is uh, but it should not treat uh, add-on items as in stock meaning if i don't want to sell this add-on item it will take it out of stock when i click update actually what happens is that this attention is being activated and you see, I get the prices from the supplier table, but the option for add-on items doesn't appear anymore. Meaning it, you simply cannot, it, we, it's, it's about the data that we get from Amazon. When you use the supplier table, we get different data from Amazon and there is no way for us to tell which item is add-on and which item is not add-on. Saying that, I will get to the last part if you uh, and I'm keep to keeping talking about the people who use suppliers table and sell add-on still when you use the supplier table and and you sell add-on items some of the items might be not sold by amazon.com and if they're not sold by amazon.com we don't have a way to know that they're add-on items I explained it earlier we only know if they're prime or not prime and as I said add-on items are not prime therefore if you have the amazon prime protection turned on even if you use the supplier table and you want to sell add-on items some of your add-on items will forever be out of stock the only way to put them back in stock is to choose not to work with amazon prime protection now it is up to you and it is up to your risk management but this is how we treat um, um, uh, the add-on items and this is how add-on items work uh, together with dsm Thank you for listening, and if it's not clear, please feel free to contact us using the um, right bottom uh, button. And I wish you all good luck with sales.